Today was the new beginning of a home, but not just any home. One for homeless women veterans who have risked their lives serving our country and their children. Well, I'm, I'm really excited that this has happened. It's been a long time coming. I think today is a, is a very important day for the, the Milford community to um, stand up and say that they support our, our local veterans. And that's exactly what they did, breaking ground on a new facility that will house up to eight people. The struggling vets will have 24-hour staff and a caseworker ready to help them get back on their feet. They're not charged for anything, and any money that they get puts in a little saving count for them. This is the facility that Home of the Brave currently houses women veterans who are in need of assistance, and soon those ladies will be calling a new place home. By the end of next spring is what candidate for Lieutenant Governor and Home of the Brave board member Greg Fuller is hoping for. He tells me Home of the Brave will need the community support to help those who have willingly helped us. Everybody can do their part whether it's a dollar or whether it's 10 or whether it's a thousand. For a home for the brave, Charles Watson, WRDE, Delmarva's own NBC station.